okay you guys, so I just kept calling him using his name and just saying come, trying to teach him the come command. Then I gave him a little treat as we got down to the bottom. So he st is starting to learn the come command now. I'm just gonna let him wander around, explore while I move the sheep. All right, so as I was doing that, I was like, you know what, let's just go for it and see what happens. So we're gonna open the net. So now I'm gonna to try to walk past the sheep with the dog because this is as much about training the dog as it is the sheep as well. They need to get used to him too. Once I build this animal enclosure over here, that's where I'm gonna train him to an electric fence. So I'm really just trying to ease him into all these things little by little, exposing him as a puppy to the pigs, the sheep, the chickens every single day. He's shown zero aggression so far. And if he does show aggression, obviously I'm gonna nip that in the bud immediately. And a shock collar was another thing I thought about getting um, as a backup in case of something or you know, there's some massive behavior that needs change. So after doing some more reading and research, I realized that I think it's probably best to not have him really bond with me as much as he already has. Maybe I've done too much. The real ideal goal, because this is a, you know, a sheep dog, I need to have him bond with the sheep so that he's always wanting to be with them. If he doesn't fully bond with them and he's, he's more bonded with me, he may at night or other times be looking around for me or thinking about me. And all I want to be on his mind is these sheep. This is his pack, he needs to protect his pack. And in here, he's got just some hay to sleep on, his bone, water, and then food. When Millie's in here, I have to put this away, otherwise she'll eat it. She's such a thief. And while I'm moving the sheep, Millie will hang out in here with Koei. And occasionally what will happen is maybe a wild dog will be out on the street or something else that Millie doesn't like. <clears throat> she'll start barking, and that way she's actually teaching Koei when it's appropriate to bark, when there's a predator or something that we don't want inside of our fence. All right, you guys, we got Koei out here in the pen and I got all the electric set up with one reel and I've run it all the way around to the other side. This side's clear so that when he gets shocked, he can go back to his little safe place in here. But tomorrow I'm going to lock him out here so that he can't run away so that he can become comfortable with being around this wire. So me walking away is a really good test to see if he'll touch it, if he, if he understands. Well, I just heard him touch it. He went yapping like crazy back into the barn. So he'll probably be scared in there all night, but we'll get him to come back out tomorrow and uh, hopefully he learned his lesson this time. Okay, back the next morning and he is very excited to see me and he is staying away from the wire at this point. Hey buddy, you know what that wire is now? So it's probably been about a month since I filmed another segment for this video. Koei is totally trained to the wire. Now I went from the single line inside of this to the net and it was fantastic. He totally understands what these wires look like. They can be in different forms and he still gets it. So what I'd like to do is get Koei into the enclosure so he can watch me move the nets, interact with the sheep, move the sheep, get him to also do the move with the sheep, and that'll give him another dose of experience. We're gonna have a big storm tomorrow night. So because of that, I'm gonna put him back in the barn overnight. But once we have a few clear nights where I'm just worried about the storm, maybe thunder like scaring him and he runs into the net. I don't know, I just, I had another sheep get out the other night when a storm went on. So storms, there's always weird stuff that happens. So that's when my sheep died, it was also during a storm. Wow, you guys, look, he's doing incredible. And the sheep came right up to him. Didn't even, wasn't scared at all. He's not scared, this is a great sign. And the sheep got really close to me as well. If I had a crook, I could get him now, which it was never possible before. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go grab my nets and move, get them all set up, and then we're gonna move Koei and the sheep together for the first time. But this is fantastic, very encouraging, um, that he's gonna be able to imprint on these sheep. Now, I was a little worried that he's gonna just imprint on me and just wanna be with me 24-7. Um, this gives me confidence that once I finally leave him here permanently, he's really gonna adapt to them. So I decided I'm gonna keep Koei in the new spot overnight. He's doing great. 
a little bit nervous maybe around the sheep, but there's zero bad interactions between him and the sheep. And I'm watching him, he walked the perimeter. He never touched the fence once and you know kept a couple foot distance. So that shows that he really understands the electric and uh, he's gonna do good and I don't have to worry about him. He'll be okay out here. And I'll be working outside a lot today. So if I hear him yelp when the, if he hits the electricity, I'll know and I can come check. Okay, so we just moved the sheep and everybody into this gigantic new paddock. It's almost four nets in length. I built some of it with some two wire actually, because I ran out of space. So they're also gonna be getting trained to some two wire while we're here. And I even did two sets of these nets just to make sure that they don't wanna go that direction. Koei's doing good. He figured out you know, he can drink from the sheep's water. I've got his food attached to a tree right there with a ratchet strap. The next step is to have him bark at something and see him protect them in some sort of meaningful way. There you go. See, see what he's doing? He's going to the sheep. He wants to be with them. So the last few days I have had the sheep in their permanent pen, but also connected outside to electric. There was a huge storm, so they were able to learn that they go back inside to the barn if they want to. So now they know, there they are. And check out Koei. He's right there, right next to the ram and doing great. I just drove down here and he didn't you know, get all excited to run up to me. So we're seeing some great behavioral changes and adaptations towards seeing the sheep as his flock and family. All right, so we just moved the sheep to a new paddock. 15 minutes later, there's Koei with all the sheep. And he really blends in and he even, he's even starting to graze around and look like a sheep a bit. So he is, he is definitely believing that they are his family. All right, so I now have Koei out with the sheep 24 seven. It's been like that for well over a month. I think, yeah, six weeks probably now. He's done extremely well with them. He's been in the woods with them. He's been in the pasture. Um, he's done well with the shade structure, drinking from the water. I have my new shade structure out there now. I've either put that video out already uh, or I will be putting it out soon. So the next big thing is to train everybody, the sheep and the dog to a two line setup. So. That'll be coming once I finish all of my perimeter fence, which I'm almost done with that as well. Also, Koei has barked for the first time. I finally witnessed it happen. I read online that it can take you know, anywhere from six or even a little bit more months for a Great Pyrenees to start barking and take on that protector role. He definitely has that friendship role and the pack role with the sheep. Um, but he hasn't gone full on aggressive super, you know, he's not barking at cars going by. There's been guys, you know, working out here. He hasn't been barking at them, so. But if I was gonna do this in the future, 100% uh, now that I have my permanent paddock set up, I would take the dog and my sheep, um, I'd put them all in one area, get him used to there, train him on the electric, everything, then move him out to the field or wherever you're gonna run your animals. And that's the best way to train any animal or young animal really to electric. You need to have a permanent fence set up and that's why I built that fence in the first place. And I should have a video coming out on that as well if it's not already out. And you know, just being hands off, he's just gonna, I'm gonna let his instincts take over and trust that he's gonna eventually start barking and being that big protector that I need. And someone gave me a good tip online. They said, this dog is your employee, not your pet or your friend, like Millie is for us. You know, that's our pet. Like, you know, it's, I think about that dog a whole lot differently. This Koei is livestock. You know, it's, it's weird to think about a dog like that growing up as, a, you know, I'm an American and growing up like we think about dogs here. You know, they're family members basically. So it's a little bit different, but um, I've gotten more used to it and trying to be, you know, more hands off with them 